Once again, it's on. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. And you are tuning in now to the Think yeah, Champs. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Season two. Season two. We in again. We in again. We black again, y'all. I am your host, Ross Isis. And I'm Rebel with a cause. And I'm Kara. Yes, indeed. And Kara said, so look, we about to go into a lovely episode, you know what I mean? This time here. I love it what's going on in creation right now because the people are uprising, you know what I'm saying? It's finally a movement again, you know? Yeah, things are happening in the earth right now and it ain't no coincidence, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely a part of prophecy too. So don't forget these things. Don't watch it like it's a coincidence that things happening and they doing this and who's doing that. The Almighty got his hands in this too, you know? Ah, yeah, man. So this time is red. And you'll see in the fall of Babylon right before your eyes. Right, yes, man. indeed. So we here, man. Bill to him, Rebel. What you feeling tonight, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the world's spinning fast, baby. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but I know we got to start thinking True. a little more critically. You know, uh, I love it, though. Uh, we got we to gotta create something new. So we don't just destroy, we rebuild. So I'm ready for the rebuilding uh, part of this. But we got to still destroy a few more levels to the game, Mm -hmm. you feel me, Uh, legislation-wise, mentally-wise, spiritually-wise. So we got got a little work to do, but you see the youngins, they they out here. We ain't even call them out. Yeah, for real, for real. So that spirit's in them. So it just got to be directed and got it. They they just got to catch up to the exact time that they on. They, they could feel it. We, we know where they at, but they just need a little more knowledge. And I think, I think uh, we'll be really doing something nobody ever seen. That's true. You feel me? That's so, uh, I, like I said, I love it. Uh, I, I want to see more learning politically because they playing, po- this is a political game, right? Yes, it is. So you're talking about Democrat, Republicans, mm-hmm. the left, the right. True, true, true. Socialists, mm-hmm. all of that, right? Yeah. So now y'all got to get into the game. Mm-hmm. Learn all the nuances of the game that you don't or you wasn't taught because you're going to need them in this war. Knowing is half the battle. Fighting is the other half. That's true. But knowing is half. It's probably 51. Right, right. Because fighting it seemed to be easy to do. Right. True, true, true. But peeping the real level, that's the hard part. So now, uh, 220 into the future, black motherfucking power. No doubt, no doubt. That's real, that's real. Yeah, so in this hour we in, you know, because we're in a serious time, like I said, it's prophecy, you know. And uh, I just want, I'm, I'm just thankful for our people waking up, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is the whole fullness for me right now. It's awakening, you know, it's awakening that's going on, you know. And this thing here, it's not just in one country too, yes, right? We're going, we going global with this thing because it's, it's touching the hearts and thoughts of man right now, you know. Each individual have to testify how you feel about the black man. Because it's a long time your foot been on our necks, you know. You don't think it's just now, you know, so. But this the whole fact is I never bowed. And just what I never will. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it straightforward. The black man matters, okay? I heard Black Lives Matters was a, 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 transe- what, a transsexual and a homosexual and a lesbian movement. Pedophile and petty. But it's not a man movement, okay? It's not a child movement and it's not a family movement, okay? Black families matter, okay? Black dollars matter. Black dollars matter. Okay, so when we get to these realities, then we really moving on our real powers and our strength. Black unity matters. Okay, okay, so when we start unifying our numbers, you know, we really see our real power. 
Because we got no power without our unity, people. You know what I'm saying? All this black matter. What matters is our unity. What's mattering is us killing one another. That's what need to stop. We need to stop right now from killing each other. We getting nowhere with that. The cops killing us, but we killing one another even harder. Remember I tell you that. So I'm not really satisfied until we coming together as brothers and sisters and unifying and saying black lives matter for us all. You understand? As man, woman, and child. Okay? Because black men matter too. Black men matter in the house. Remember I tell you that. Yeah, because I stand for that. I'm a father out here. So I ain't know about what you thinking. You know what I'm saying? But real men defend his children and his wife. You understand? And his family. That's what we defend. So, George Floyd was a strong black man. You understand? That had an opportunity to spend quality time raising his children. You understand? And that's a blessing. You understand? Because a lot of brethren don't get those opportunities. So we gotta give thanks for that too. You understand? Because as a black man, it's a precious thing to be able to have the love of your daughter or your son. Remember I tell you that. You understand? So we thankful. The cry goes out. You understand? All mothers feel it now. Mothers are standing up. You understand? Mothers are rising up now. Why do they defend? And they're defending their black sons because we actually count. We need to be recognized. And this is not no homo thing. This is a man thing. This is a human thing, as my brethren say. You understand? So, as a human thing, us being hue, being that we are all of color, we have to stand up as a hue man. And the only hue man is the black man. Remember I tell you that. So, they don't want you to know that, and they don't want to accept it themselves. But the reality still stays strong. That the black woman is the mother of creation. Okay, stay focused. So if the black woman is the mother of creation, then who is the father? Selassie. The black man. Why you don't want to lift him up? Huh? Why you don't want to acknowledge him? Why you don't want to acknowledge the king and the queen together? Because you can't do one without the other, right? Unless you homo. I mean, they try to always push up this thing. We need our woman, we need our woman, all the women join together. But you, do you recognize the men? Do you acknowledge your brother? The king. Yeah. You know, that's the king. We are in a time where we gotta value our black men because we don't have many. See, there's a, there's a story been told and it's a lie, you know. There's not that many strong black men left, okay? Because they weakened a lot of us out through the system. Yes, the food. You know what I mean? Through the food is the ice age. You understand? Through the, through, the, through the false education, through the programming. Spiritual teaching. Ah. So now we're in a state where we have to realize what we, who we are and where we really come from, what we really stand for. You know what I'm saying? I'm so thankful to see black people coming together in unity. And the beauty of it is, it's about a right thing, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's about a right thing. They coming together in unity about something right. The killing of black men. I'm one of them black men. Do you have one of them black men? I'm one of them. Do you have one of them black men? Yes, I'm black man. My son is one of them black men. You understand? So my point is, it's about time we recognize this black man again, man. Because the homo been getting way too much activity. Way too much activity. Way too much. You understand? And to the point is, you, you rather gather with him and lesbians before you gather with real men. You understand? And deal with real situations. We have to get real again, people. We have to get real again. And what's real is man, woman, and child. Don't let these people fool you. Don't let these people fool you, man. Don't let these people sell you out with their false dreams and false realities, okay? Man, woman, and child is the most valuable thing on this planet. And man, woman, and child is the most valuable thing on this planet because the man, woman, and child is the only thing can help this world keep growing on. Without man, woman, and child, none of us could keep this thing going on. You understand? You're not gonna be here forever. All Bill Gates and all them with their big money and their big uh, programs that they have for people, they I still gotta 20, die 20. too, I right? 20, 20 vaccine chips. They still gotta die too. No chips. They got a date too. Bill and what, Melinda? Yeah, they got a date. Yeah. You know, y'all need y'all gonna find them. I know y'all gonna find them because before they kill you, you better kill them. You know, trust me. 
I'm going to tell you that straight up because ain't nobody going to take my life, definitely. You understand with no vaccination. Because one thing I know, the natural vaccination on the earth, the Almighty already created that. You understand? Which is the human structure and system. This, this structure here can fight off any disease. This structure here can heal from any disease. This structure can heal from any cut, any wound. You understand? This structure here that the Almighty created. You understand? And then he give us things on the earth that help us even go further and sustain us even stronger. The Almighty did that. Man ain't do that. The Almighty did that. So now for me to go and put my trust in some man with his drugs, you understand? With his chemicals, with his warfare, into my bloodstream. Yeah, it's not going to happen. You understand? So if you don't stand up, guess what? These Europeans going to stand up because they don't want to be drug neither. They're already protesting, saying they're not going to be his guinea pig. I hope you're standing and waking up, too, because they're telling you every day when you cut on the television, what they say? Uh, we got uh, testing officers ready. You can go get tested. They yeah. Say, they say black people uh, got to be vaccinated first. And why they say that? Because I told them that black people were not going to get it. They said, no, yeah. we got to make sure that black people. Remember the last show? Remember last season when I said, before when Corona was jumping? I said, black people is not going to get it because Italy was getting hit heavy. Fine. You know what I'm saying? The whole Europe was getting hit heavy. Judgment. You know what I mean? But now, China was getting hit heavy. Now they come to America with it, and they said the black man is getting hit heavy. Here why the black man is getting hit heavy with it. First off, we trust too much in pharmaceutical drugs. Fireball. That's first thing. Next, second thing, we're very obese in this country. Hot. We don't want to move our bodies. We stuck on these machines. Hot. You know what I mean? So these things are causing us right now to get real sickly. On top of that, we eating unhealthy. You know what I mean? Very unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? We eating so unhealthy that we don't want to eat healthy at all. Clone me. So these things are causing us to fall into the system. But in our natural state, in our healthy natural mind state and physical state, we can survive anything because the structure is built to do that. The Almighty did that. It's divine. So yeah, we're thankful to be in this time to see what's going on. But like I tell you, stay woke because here the Iowa now. The Iowa is so serious now that right outside these very doors, they burning down Wendy's in these places right now. Right up the street, Wendy's on fire. Brimstone. Wendy's is on fire. Hot. You know why Wendy's on fire, right? Because the people are fed up. All right, my brother, peace and love. You good, go on, you good, you good. Yeah, the people are fed up. The people were fed up for the killing of black men. You understand? And it, it could have been something that could have been spoke of and understood, you know? But a man took a life, shot a man for what? Sleeping in his own car. Being I'm a, black. Yeah. That's what I want to ask you yeah. about. Yeah. What, what you feel yeah, plus we got to analyze the video. Uh, that's too blatant of a death. It's too obvious on why he shot him after the scuffle these men can't they don't have what it takes to handle this pressure mm -hmm. but uh y'all both saw the oh rest in power george floyd yes, and yes, mr yes, brooks yes. no doubt uh both of y'all saw the tapes mm -hmm. okay y'all witnessed both of the murders well i seen it yeah i just seen it just last night actually yeah because it just really happened yeah so, yeah all right not too far away from here too yeah. so we in the mix Mm. Yes, sir. I read a, a scripture. Isaiah, Isaiah, he said, The righteous perish, and no man lies it to heart. The merciful man is taken away, and none consider that the righteous is taken away to evil to come. Mm. So, destruction is coming mm. from the wicked. Let me see it. I agree. Nah, I agree. It, it, we at the we on the right clock. We on the right time. All right. So there's a little country. Yeah, your rainbow's out there now. Yes. You see the rainbow, right? Let you know we're in a serious Iowa right now. As we speak to you right live, there's a rainbow right before our very eyes. See if we can bring it to you. Mm -hmm. 
they have yeah. desecrated. We live. They have taken the symbol of the you Almighty. You see the blessings of the most. Uh, facts, facts. So let's get into it. Um, what do y'all think about? Cause I don't want to talk about. I want to talk about something nobody talking about. What do y'all talk? What do y'all think about the techniques that the police are using? These aren't police level techniques. They're actually army level subdued techniques. So what do you think about the the techniques that? that the cops use against blacks now, which are army level, and the presence of the army. Mm -hmm. Next. Well, I think that the police is mostly white supremacists now. And so the techniques that they're gonna use are they're gonna be the military techniques because in their organization, they're gonna train based on what they know. And most of them are in the military, and most of them in police. So the whole purpose of the police is to cap catch slaves. That's where it comes from, capture the slave. So if you commit a crime, you're still a slave, even under the Constitution. So the whole thing is they know they have to depopulate the, the earth with us because our genes and genetics are strong and theirs are weak and they can't reproduce. And, they, and the cloning and the stealing the organs and the using the, our genetics and th taking the lady placentas from the births at the hospitals, it's not helping them because now the baby's still coming out black when they try to synthesize our genetics for their designer babies and their fertility drugs. The baby's still coming out black because our genetics are so strong. So now the only, the only hope to survive is to A, turn themselves into cyborgs. Y'all see the rainbow, right? And B, Kill as many, kill as yeah. many dominant black people as they can, you know, because sooner or later they're gonna start using the robots and the AI to control the people, the robocops and all of that. Yeah, that's true. My sound is the judgment is just getting hot. I'm talking about just getting hot. So you think they got their little guns and their weapons, but you see the amount of people they up against. Them little weapons mean nothing. Seattle shut them down. Seattle took over. The Hot whole city. Fire. The people set barricades, so they called the police station the people station. Mm. Said so they policing themselves. Imagine that. Yes. The people said they gonna police themselves. Yes. The police ain't even in the numbers to come against the Pope, the people. So the Pope, the people have to do what I mean, the police have to do what the people say they want them to do. Imagine that. Imagine that now, that they can't even stop the people from doing what they want to do. Huh? Because they stood up for what? Themselves and their rights. What people need to focus on right now is Bob was killed for a reason, okay? Because Bob seen the times that we are in right now. You know, I'm speaking of Bob Marley, you know, the legendary Bob Marley. And rest in power, Bob, because, again, he was assassinated. He didn't just yes. die, you know what I'm saying? We got to give power because, you know. And Peter Tosh. Yes, and Malcolm X. And Malcolm X. Yes, sir, we can go up the list because that's what they're doing to our black men. You understand? So we got to stand for what's right right now. Like I said, in this time, Bob Marley's music is very prevalent because his music stands for the revolution. His music stands for the people. Bob has a song called Burning and Eluding. I want you guys and girls to pull that up too, you know what I'm saying? When you get a chance, pull up the song Burning and Eluding by Bob Marley, okay? This will show you the real time that Bob was in, even in that time, to see this time we in now. Hear what Bob tell you. Bob say, this morning I woke up in a curfew. Oh Lord, I was a prisoner too. Could not recognize the faces standing over me. Got the mask. All dressed in human forms of brutality. Hey. 
How many rivers? Look how many bridges we're crossing right now. How many of these things we got to cross before we can really talk to the boss and say, look, what we really want, we want to be free. We want to be free from everything you're dealing with. We want to just be free from all of that. It's long overdue. We in 400 plus years now. It's 4-1. That's why we're standing up now. You didn't realize it. It's 4-1. You're supposed to stand up last year. We're supposed to be ready on the 400. We are, we are a year late. If we ain't ready by, by, what, uh, by August, we already a year late because the prophecy is set. It's time for the children to be set free. This is the part they don't want you to see. They don't want you to know. That the prophecy says that Israel has to return. Okay? The true Israel, the children of Israel has to return home. Jacob's children, the Most High's children might have to return home. So here's the thing that we want. We want to be set free, first and foremost. But we want things before we set free, too. Because we ain't want no guys talking for us, you know. You ain't got on real men talking for black people yet. You can't tell me Sharpton can talk for me. You can't, Sharpton can't talk for me. Sharpton don't come around. Sharpton don't come around. Sharpton don't give pounds. Huh? Sharpton don't give pounds, brethren. Okay? Only people can talk to me is people that really give pounds and really is real people. Okay? Because real people need real things going on right now. That's who moving around this thing. Real people. Not your little movie sets and all that. And that's a sidetrack, too. They got all the little actors coming out, the little woodwork, trying to, trying to uh, showboat this thing and take it, take it to a little uh, entertainment and, and broadcast their next film so y'all can go down and get sleepy again and sidetrack. Okay? And, and go ahead and vote for Sleepy Joe. We got no time for election. We got no time to vote. The vote right now is voting with your dollars. Hot. Vote what? With your dollars. Because every time you spend your dollars, that's where your vote go to, you know. Right. Remember I tell you that every time you spend that black dollar and you go out to another nation, you support white supremacy. Yes. But every time you take that black dollar and you spend with a black brother or sister, you support in black supremacy. Okay? Fireball. And this is what we have to stay focused on from now. Fire burn. What T.I. say, King? What T.I. say? Tell me what T.I. say, because this thing here, hey, I, gotta, I don't want to hit him yet. I don't want to hit him yet, but tell me what T.I. say. Right? I don't know what he said. Because uh, they got something called, what, what they call this thing now? The blackout? Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The less, all right, two minutes on the blackout. Yeah. Peace, Queens. Peace and blessings. Blessed love. Blessed love. Uh, Blessed love. We heard it's a blackout on the 7th. Mm -hmm. Okay, the 7th of what? July. The seventh, that's way too late. It's three days late. That's way too late. Lyrically, that's three days late. Mm -hmm. uh, we're supposed to be doing that on the fourth. I don't understand the science, but we're well, going to have to look well, into I all of that. I honestly say it's, it's way later than that. It's supposed to be in June. Because June well, is where they burnt down Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's a Where fact. they took away our black dollars. We got to stay focused on returning the black dollar by spending the black dollar in the return of... Oh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, it's 99 years now. It's we got to do this every month. Every month. We got to get down every month. Oh. I got, let's get a little uh, controversial a little, because that was fire. That's red. Um, That's red. What y'all brothers think about the addition of the Caucasian in our plight marches and and the second layer of them out there starting trouble. So I'm not saying that. I'm asking both questions. All right. What do you think about their participation mm -hmm. in our struggle? Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about the negative as them being anarchists uh, starting the trouble and the youngins just taking their lead and following them, spit on that too. But what you think about them being in, in the mix? Okay, I'm gonna let Kyra speak on that first and I'm gonna seal it up on that. I like that answer. Good answer. Good question. Well, first of all, it's all cap. Because, mm -hmm. like you said, before, how many years? 401? 401. So they're gonna wait all the way till we late for them to find we still late and they, and they, and they wanna jump on now? True, 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 true. Nah, that cap. And then, George Soros, he fun. The anarchists and he fund Black Lives Matter. He fund both of them. Mm -hmm. 
So if you know anything how this devil work, they play both sides so they can maintain control. Mm -hmm. So now the original infiltration when the Black Lives Matter started was in St. Louis. And it was a brother and it was a brother by Darren Seals. I mean, yeah, Darren Seals who called him out mm -hmm. and told him that the Black Lives Matter coming down there, turning the shit into a hip hop thing, making them dance and do all type of stupid shit versus staying focused and keeping the, the momentum on justice, you know? And then he wind up getting dead, getting killed mysteriously, found dead in his car, you know? And so now on the Black Lives Matter website, it go to show that the BLM is really for black lesbians matter. Yes, so it's not even a black, it's not even a black movement. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a homosexual movement yeah. and a Caucasian funded a movement that has taken over what, you know, Martin Luther King and people like that started with the peaceful protests. So now that's even been infiltrated. And so the white people, they just getting their cap in where they can. You know, because they taking advantage of the looting, they taking advantage of, you know, uh, the spotlight and the, and the amenities that they gonna get, which seeming like they down, but we know they not down because their genetics, no matter what they want to do, their genetics they can't come with us with their genetics where we can go, so they gotta choose their side overall, so it's all cap. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. All cap. Yeah, man. Good answer for real. Yeah, I got a, a few answers to the question, you know. Okay, we got two sides to the coin, you know. We got two sides to the coin. So you got one face of the head, one face of the tail, right? They both on one coin. Same way with us as black people. We have good, we have bad. You know what I'm saying? Still on one coin, right? So this thing is about righteousness and truth okay so with righteousness and truth is what we are defending always have been defending you know now you had white people in the movement of the underground railroad you understand who kept the barn light open you know what i'm saying and we traveled through and we survived and got out of these places with the help of some people you understand so they was helping the movement from way back when it's nothing new you understand? Because it's one truth and it's one right, right? It's just who defending it, okay? So in this thing here, like the eye is saying, you've got two sides of the coin. You've got the Black Lives Matter, right? We now, who should be woke in 2020, know that this is not our movement. We didn't organize this. It's already been organized, it's going on, it's funded. You know what I'm saying? So it's two sides of their coin. They have one side that's funding it. They have one side that's burning and looting it. It's two sides of the coin. Now, I, got something, I got something to that, that mm -hmm. I want to address to the people about Harry Tubman. Yeah. So this is what a lot of people don't recognize about Harry Tubman. And what I'm about to say, it may uh, come across harsh, but you can all look it up for yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm from South Carolina. I'm Geechee. So the Geechee Gullah Wars is what freed us from slavery. It wasn't the Emancipation Proclamation, it was the Geechee Gullah people who maintained their African heritage through slavery and they burnt, came back and burnt down the plantation. Some of them escaped, made their own houses and bases in the swamp, and then they came back and freed the other ones. And then from there they burned down the plantations and then they fought the best armies couldn't defeat us because they couldn't come in the swamps. So when they tried to come in the swamps to attack us, the malaria and the crocodiles would automatically kill a lot of them. And then we use the terrain to our benefit and then we take their weapons and go back and kill them because in Africa, Africa produced the best archers and the best military. So we already had that when we came over here. So when Harriet Tubman was taking the slaves to the north, she really was taking the slaves to the new slavery because up north was where the Industrial Revolution was taking place. And she was also a part of the military and a part of the uh, Red Cross. So that's why they big up Harriet Tubman. They don't never tell you about the Geechee Gullah Wars. And then they call it the Seminole Wars. So you know what I'm saying? 
you don't recognize that it is black people, the slaves. Fighting them, it wasn't Indian, Seminole, because Seminole just means runaway. So it was runaway slave. It's not an Indian. It was the black runaway slaves that came back that was killing them, that they had to free us from slavery. And at the same time we had our revolution, Haiti was having their revolution too at the same time, with no cell phone, with no internet. And so this is the part of history that black people got to come back to right now in 2020, that we have a spiritual connection. Everything that they're trying to create with technology, we have that within ourselves. You know, we have space travel, space visuals in ourselves. We can talk to the mother, father, creator, ourselves. You know, we can talk to each other telepathically. You know, we in tune with each other. So this is what we got to get back into using the earth, the crystals, the stones, and the alignment of the cosmos, and understand how to be in tune with that and what that means and how we channel that energy for ourselves and our benefit, and not just personally, but coming together as we are now and, and using it together to make it even more powerful. That's how the pyramids was built. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good one. Yeah, I'm still on the same thing because he, he was reasoning. That's good. That's, a, that's one sound. So the fullness is, what I was reasoning on is, is that when you look at this movement, okay, we're looking at it as our movement. Again, this is not our movement. The only thing is really our movement is the uprise of us screaming for the lives that's being lost. That's us movement. But the people who's behind the movement, you know what I'm saying, who's funding the movement is not us. You understand? So it's, it's a sidetrack. It's the whole thing to the whole fullness is a sidetrack because at the end of the day, the system is done anyway. You know what I mean? Don't get it twisted. The system is done anyway. It's already done. They already know who we are. They know their time is up. So while this time is up, we have to stand up for what we are and we have to stand up for our rights again. You understand? For what we want right now. We are now in the teams. We are in the teams as we speak right now, okay? They got people want to celebrate Juneteenth on the 19th. You're way too late, okay? We was too late from January 1st, really and truly. We was too late from January 1st because the first of the years when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, you understand? It was until Juneteenth, 19th, until when black people found out. You understand? From the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, to the 19th, until it was one black man who stood there in Houston, Texas, and read off the Emancipation Proclamation and said, black people, you are free. Hence for free, okay? And then it still had to spread, because it's still word of mouth, ain't no internet, right? So small towns, small countries still didn't even know they was free. They were still there with master, right? Now we're here in 2020. Harry would have shot all of y'all. Harry would have shot every last one of y'all. Why? Because none of y'all want to be free. Y'all still want to be slaves. That was Harriet West and her blessing onto y'all. She said, look, I would have saved thousands of y'all. She saved hundreds. Said she would have saved thousands more. Only if they what? They knew they were slaves. Right now, we still don't even know we slaves. She would have shot all of y'all. Think she wouldn't have shot. She'd have shot you. Because you ain't ready to go nowhere. You still want to hang on, Master Lease, till this very day. 401 years later, we still want to be Americans. We still want to be proud Americans. We still talking about God bless America. And we're not saying God bless Africa. God bless our real true motherland. You understand? God bless our natural color of our hair, the natural color of our skin. You understand the natural texture of our skin, the natural texture of our hair. We ain't blessing that. In this very day right now, we in, we in 2020, and we still happy with these other people's stuff more than we happy with our own. You understand? This is the wake up. You understand? This is why we have to wake up. So if we don't stand together, and it's not going to just be the white people, you know. All right? What's up? It's not just going to be the white people. It's going to be black and white because, again, it's truth. See, the whole thing is you got to defend the truth before the almighty. You know, everybody got to stand before the almighty. We ain't talking about the president, you know. See, the president is a man. Y'all put too much time and energy in one man. 
Remember I tell you that, that man there doing what he do, that's one man. What are you doing? Okay, to worry about what one man doing. That's what I try to figure out, you know what I'm saying? I try to figure out this day, how everybody worry about what one man is doing. So much that they ain't even worry about what they doing. I ain't never seen nothing more stupid in my life. But all them people who's focused doing what they doing, ain't worried about what the president doing. Remember I tell you that, only the, and you're still ready to vote. You still go out there and ready to get a sticker on your face and on your chest in this day and time. Waiting to see what's gonna happen in the election. I'll tell you what's gonna happen in the election. Cause I've been through many of them. It's gonna be a drought. It's gonna be hard on these streets. You think it's hard now. Stimulus check and all that, you happy right now, right? I, I bet you, you got the stimulus, right? But what we doing with the stimulus? Stimulus gone. What we doing, they about to cut one now, the stimulus just hit the street. No, it's gone. The stimulus just hit the street, it's coming right now, brethren, it's in the, in the mail. I'm telling you, listen to me, I'm on this block, I'm on the streets. I got the dude told me right now he got his check. Trust me, the stimulus check done hit, but what we gonna do with it? What we gonna do with it? Now, you listen to these silly rappers and these city entertainers, they gonna wait till you get to July 7th and tell you to go spend your money on July 7th. And Juneteenth is right now, when the money is in your hand right now. We shutting this system down by not supporting it. We have to realize what black supremacy is. Black supremacy is supporting your own, having your own, and only networking with your own. That's black supremacy, okay? Because our black dollars matter, they really do, okay? The more you can keep that dollar with your people, it really matters, it really do. Black don't don't take matter. it granted. Right now, we have a black woman by the name of... Uh, um, Apple No, no, not Keisha Applebottom. We ain't talking about her. I'm talking about the black woman right here that spent her money in the hood, um, Pinky. Pinky, look at the revolution started. Black people standing in line from the time the place opened until it closed. Every day, any day she opened and supporting her no matter how much the price is for the product she has. That's a revolution. That's black supremacy. You understand? Now the black woman is a multi-millionaire. She's opening up more chains of different businesses right now and employing more black people. And she's proud of it. That's black supremacy. Okay? If we ain't moving like that, we ain't moving. Okay? So don't worry about spending your dollars come June 7th because it's too late. You done ate the pork and the chicken and you understand and got the grill hot. You done supported, you done supported all, the, all the charcoal. You done bought all the charcoal. Huh? Done with that. We ain't doing none of that. Spend your money with your people. Get some charcoal for your teeth. There's a sister by the name of Me Natural. Me Natural, she makes her own natural soap. I mean, I'm, uh, uh, toothpaste. Catch her online. She on my set too. She's a follower of mine. Me Natural, a black sister. She makes charcoal toothpaste. You know, understanding different products because that's what we do. We are very productive people. Remember I tell you the difference between us and them is that they making products and we're not. We're buying products, okay? That's the difference between us and them right now. Don't look at what they're wearing, what they have. None of that matters. What matters is they have products and you don't. They're supporting products that they make and you're supporting products that they make. It's not going to work that way. Black supremacy is going to start from us supporting our own from here on out. They done burnt toast to Oklahoma in the month of June. What you waiting for July 4th? You understand why your dollars got to go out and wait after June and they done burnt the city down in June. You waiting for the white boy to come up and, and, and do a, a presentation in June. He said, no, I couldn't do that because uh, that's going to offend them. He said, I could, they, they, there's too much heat on that. Uh, my black brothers told me that's going to be a problem. Yeah. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. So uh, we're going to switch the date on that. So we're going to come on June 20th. Hot fire. Red. But it's too late for us because we didn't realize the 13th the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th. Now you wanna rise up on the 19th, it's too late. You are supposed to have the fire hot from now. The check been cut and they know that too. They know that. This is why they plan it that way. You see that? Hot. They give you the check so you can go out there and spend it and give it all to them. And then June 7th, what do you really have? Where you getting it from on June seventh? Anyway, we didn't even have it on June seventh to worry about what's on June seventh is what's in your pocket right now. <laughs> you worry about what's in your pocket on June seventh. What's in your pocket right now that you gonna support your old people with? Because again, 
This is how you vote. You vote with your dollars. Black dollars matter. That's your vote. Anytime you go out there and spend your money with your people, you vote. I vote for a black person driving Uber. Yeah, you know, let's do it. Let's no, do no, it. No, I'm saying. Yeah, go but to the next question. But the whole fullness is support your people, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all can still flip. Nah, go ahead. I'm just want to add this. You you definitely can answer this. Yeah. <laughs> How does the future look? Hmm. hmm. From both sides, spiritual and the physical game. Okay. How, what are the moves we got to do and what are the moves that are going to be used against us? How does the future look based on what we know? Well, first of all, I just want to say shout out to the black people, man. They tried to get us with the COVID-19 scare. That shit didn't work. Then they had to do the whole protest, Black Lives Matter shit. And we didn't burn down our neighborhoods. We went to Buckhead with the shit. So the more they trying to put us in folly, the more we showing up to the place, showing that we intelligent. And that's what black first mean, intelligence. Our genetics is dominant because of the intelligence of our DNA. We have the most data you know, the future, everything is based around data. The black person DNA got the most data in, than anything. So the future is either going to go one or two ways. Now, we keep going as black people how we going now, and we seeing through everything that they're doing, and we're reacting, you know, responsibly as a people. Then to the land, you know, because... The land is out there. Where I'm from, it's nothing but land. Nothing developed. Just country as far as I can see. So it's land everywhere. And if we get back to the land and we get in tune with the natural forces of creation, then we'll build pyramids again. But if we don't, what's going to happen is they're going to scare everybody again back into the house. Then they're going to get you caught up in the virtual reality. This is what they're not telling you. The virtual reality is what they're trying to create as the new norm. So you're scared to go outside, mm -hmm. and then they say you can take a virtual tour. You can go on vacation virtually. You can go grocery shopping virtually, and the drones drop the stuff in your house. And then in the virtual world, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be a man, woman, unicorn, black, straight, anything. Right, right, right. So once they get you used to the virtual reality, then the microchip is going to be a necessity. Because if you get the microchip, it makes your virtual reality seem real now. So now you're fully immersed in the virtual reality because you got this chip. And now everything you feel in virtual world, sex, violence, anything you feel in the virtual world, drugs, it feel real like you're in the real world because you integrate in it with the microchip. And that's the last draw. And that's all been written. And even the lady is a black woman who made the Terminator series and she made the Matrix series. A black woman wrote that. She sued them and she won because they stole it from her. And when she brought it out, she said those were prophetic warnings because the AI is not something new. The AI has been around for millions of years trying to take over the natural creation, organic creation. It's artificial intelligence, meaning that it's against organic intelligence. So this is what's going on. But the only thing black people got to do is get back to the land, get back to nature, get back to ourselves. And we don't need artificial intelligence. We don't need cell phones. We don't need computers. We was, the, the, the pyramid, the Giza Plateau is a motherboard. So they making little pyramids in the, in, the, in the boxes with, you know, components and stuff. We made it with the whole rocks and, and stone with the earth itself. The whole earth was a, was a computer. But an organic computer, though, mm -hmm. aligned with the cosmos. So that, that's what we downloading and uploading from the cosmos, not from the Internet. Right. Sure, sure. You know, so once we get back to that, then, you know, we'll be back to the business as usual, black the business as usual, like Rastaman said. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Black up, black up. Yeah, yeah man. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, man. That's real. You got it. What uh, the future look like? What the future look like? Well, you can break it down. You can move through the prophecy. You can move. Yeah, I gotta keep it profitable because that's the part they yeah. don't want us to see. Yeah. The prophecy is everything because this is a profitable time, right? You yes, see it. Sir. Prophecy is being fulfilled before our very eyes every day. You know what I mean? The news now. Ah, 
the news is actually real huh <laughs> the news is actually real finally the news is real it's not a program y'all you know it's not the breaking story they're not breaking it up anymore they have to literally go live yes the news has to go live because everything is happening right now live before your very eyes you know what i'm saying so this time we living in is a profitable time you know and i'm looking at the prophecy is fulfilling for the righteous you know because we're not at war the war is not for us you know what i'm saying They're, the war is against us but it's not for us you know what i'm saying we don't have to go to war right now you know what i'm saying the spiritual war is what we're fighting at this point you understand because right now like i said our war we have to really fight is stop fighting and killing one another you understand the police been killing us we got to stop killing one another each day we got to set certain boundaries to right now just to what's going to stop us from really killing one another uncalled for you understand and not being able to talk certain things out because it's long overdue you understand lives are getting innocently killed right now daily in the street by us too you understand so that got to stop too you understand for real for real but my point going to again in order for things to really look forward to the future we got to look to the prophecy fulfilling there's going to be some bloodshed you understand because a lot of people don't want to live anyway you understand in this day and time you know what i mean a lot of people don't want to live right now so those who are here in this time it's a serious time because it's really life or death it's the choices we make right now you know and i'm loving it because i'm loving i'm loving the choice of life i'm loving the choice of of uh the future being bright for righteous people you know what i mean because righteousness is going to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea that's what the whole prophecy is going to be when the fulfillment is said and done righteous people will be here covering this earth as the waters cover the sea so don't get it twisted don't think that it's going to be some old tore up place and only these people are going to be here no the most high can destroy this place and he can bless it and create it just as well so the vibrations have to change you know what i mean the vibrations of this earth have to change because it's already in a ruined state you know so we are are witnessing the ruined state you understand when something's dry rot you know what i mean when it's just already dead you know but it's just still standing there that's america right now you know it's dry rot that's their whole system right now it's dry rot that's why they can't even open their courthouses they can't do all the wickedness that they want to do and penetrate and penalty people for what because it's dry rot the system is overwhelmed and overpacked with just wickedness and wrong ways why because the black man is in there in there for what petty crimes that he shouldn't even be in there for but through your system you feel you 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 got the justification to lock him up okay so we see things happen and the system is collapsing and we got to be thankful for these things because it's not benefiting us until it break down you understand until this thing is broke down even if we wasn't protesting how we was doing you wouldn't have seen these movements happen within the court system where they had to make sure these charges got more serious and you understand and board in the over offices and start pressing charge now you got people who police resigning huh they under so much pressure right now the police resigning they running for cover all right because they know their system is collapsing and it's dry rot too okay and they've been standing for something that ain't right so we thankful we thankful to see the fall of this whole system yes sir yes sir give thanks yeah man so we in a serious time that's the time we have to focus on right now you know yeah, yeah, let's let's hit him with the Ivy Fonto real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a man, get a man. Yes, Season two, Think Champs. Episode one brought to you by Ivy Fonto. Truth and right. You can go to IvyFonto.com and we hook you up. Mm-hmm. Little brain child. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, we got and they got the flavor. green too. The green leaf and, and we got the green, green Optimo leaf also. So I'll let us. It's all about products, man. That's one thing we have to get focused on. Buying, supporting our own products, man. This is what time it is, man. And we thank you. We thank us. We always going to create. Yeah, man. So, so as Marcus Garvey said, yeah. think black, buy black, and be proud to be black. 
and everything else will work itself out. And that's a fact. Awesome. Yeah. So one more question. Yes, sir. I know what y'all probably going to say anyway, but for edification, mm -hmm. like we were talking earlier, we still in the system. Babylon burned, burn it down. Sure. But until then, we in the system. So say we don't burn it down, you know, until 30 years from now. In the next 30, do we need laws in place to protect us, even though they break them? Can they even put a law that can shake them up or, or scare them into submission where they kind of subdue that bloodlust for black people? Okay, good, good. Yeah. Well, I just see it's no more trying to work within their system. Yeah. Because we can't beat them working within their system. It's the whole thing is do away with their system. We create our own system, and then we make sure it works for us. And that way, you know, because it's not our nature to just be going out killing this stuff. Though. The black on black killing this stuff that y'all referring to is sometimes because we are sick people. You know what I'm saying? We've been we've been hurt, healed, and we haven't been rewarded for 400 years for what's been done to us. You know, and that's what the whole cry is about. Because, you know, everybody do some wrong, but if a black person kill a black person, they're going to go to jail for life. The police supposed to be protecting us. They killing black people and they getting off. They going home, you know. And so the thing is, is that if we can just, you know, govern ourselves, our true nature come out. Because we naturally love and social warm people. We create the pyramids. So that's what we're going to come back to. And then there's certain things in nature, like when you eat from the land, now you indigenizing yourself with the land. You're communicating with the land. Your stomach is a brain. So when you eat the food from the land, that's your communication with the land. So now the same thing with the sun. When you're out in the sun, it's downloading information to your head, to your brain. So above, so below. So now you in tune above and below because you working within the ground, whatever you put in the ground, you putting back in yourself and then it's going back into the ground and then you out in the sun, you know? So that's what we got to get back to and that'll give us all the information we need and it'll have us in tune in our natural path like how the squirrels and the birds and everybody got their own natural path for formation of government. We'll come back to ours. Yeah, for real, I like that, that's true. That's indeed. So, question again. <laughs> You're gonna get a different question. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is, since you, you a pillar in Atlanta, you a pillar. Yeah, thanks. I did my research. Yes, sir. Thanks, good thanks. You in the dirt. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, what do you think about the West End? The West End's future. How is the West End going to look? Could you survive it? Are they going to come do what, you know, kind of like New York, where they kind of wipe everyone out? No, nah, that's done. I mean, they can't the do... West End. Well, here's the thing. It's a beautiful thing because it's, it's a couple of facts, you know? Yeah. A couple of facts, you know? Fact is that we are here we are owners of things here. We own property. We own businesses. We own even institutions here. Hank Aaron owns some of this stuff over here. So, fact is, our money in dollars still is going to be here. You know, this is the last place that we really have that the black dollar is really being spent. This is the new Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right here, you know what I'm saying? If you never knew, the West End Atlanta is the new Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? This is the last community we really got left where you can support and see black businesses in numbers in one space and blocks away. Let's be real. So we are blessed. We are protected. But I'm going to show you one thing, though. We take a lot for granted, though. You know what I'm saying? We take a lot for granted. And that's what I really want us to really get black to again. You know what I'm saying? The love for ourselves, for supporting ourselves, you know what I'm saying, for working with one another, having more tolerance, you know what I'm saying? Because in the West End, there's a certain code here of respect that doesn't go on on any other side of Atlanta. I don't even know what they're doing in the world, 
but I know right here in the West End, we treat women as sisters, and the brothers are treated like brothers, you know what I'm saying? And we have a certain code of respect for each individual, even in different religions and walks of life. The Muslims, the Rastas, the Five Percenters, you understand the Hebrew Israelites, you know, we are the uh, our shrine of the Black Madonna. All black organizations are still here unified together. We take these things for granted. We really do. But And then on top of that, we have the black positive focused institutions still on the planet right here in numbers in the West End of Atlanta too. Morehouse, Spelman, Clark, you understand? Yeah, the, you, hey, but see, the, here's, the, here's the fullness is. When black people came here, they came to the west end of Atlanta specifically for education. That was the main point is why they came here. They didn't have high schools and they didn't have colleges and all these things, different places where black people live. So they came to Atlanta for education and to better themselves. And they done that just like the sister Pinky did. She went to Clark University. She went to a black college, you understand? She opened her business in a black community. She could have took her dollars and went out the buckhead. She's still on the right meditation. That's why she's blessed and prosperous as she is. But my point is saying that, is that here in the West End, we are blessed, you understand? And we have to realize that the value is still here. You don't even know how sweet it is if you go up a cascade. You don't even want to know how black people really live in for years. You understand? For years. But they people get them caught up. They out there spending their money out there trying to live up amongst the next nations. They got golf courses and everything. Psh, they don't want to see, they don't see the, the parks that have exercise courts and all these things that, that we have here in our own community to the point is how we even have uh, our own nature preserve over here. You understand where natural water is still flowing because water is still here under the earth. People still have wells. They understand we still live in naturally from the earth. So it's a different level, you know what I'm saying, when you really check the history and what we're dealing with. And then here's a, here's a little portion of history that I want you to see. Martin Luther King days, you know, when black people went to school. You had Martin Luther King, he probably could have been like seven, eight years old, right? But in his classroom, the teacher had students of different ages, all in one class. So even though if Martin was only seven and eight, he still was in class with 12 and 14 year old children learning more classes in different education. You understand? So, because the board was big, he had one side over here was his work, they had their work, they had their work. So you in a class with students older than you, you're getting more information and more knowledge. You're able to actually pick up things more faster. Yes, sir. You understand and become more advanced. This is natural, right? Because blessed love, give thanks, give thanks. So you have all sorts of ones working with you. You understand? So by the time you get of a certain age, you'll be done knowing the, 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 the youth work that's in a higher age for, before you. Because you'll be done watched him do it and study with him and learn some things, how to do that. I need to know that math question. And so Martin was that type of youth. Martin was that type of youth who studied with elder ones and went to school at uh, Booker T. Washington High School, graduated at 15, and he went to Morehouse College at 16 years old. The mind. He also was a doctorate of law, right? right? He had a doctorate degree, right? So we got to look at these things. You understand? As to what's going on. Education is why we came here. My point again. We came here to educate ourselves because with knowledge we have the power. You understand? And without knowledge, a nation and a people shall perish with the lack of knowledge. And that's what we're doing right now because the lack of knowledge is not there. Our leaders are not really standing for us really. You understand? They're standing for themselves in the system. What we really need now is us to start spending our money amongst ourselves and let them people system go. Stop coming out of them people's store. You know what I mean? Come up out of them people's store. Because it's already going to be closed already. And that's another story. But I'm going to seal it right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can end it on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to end it on that. And we are uh, good looking, God, for coming through. Uh, you definitely. Thanks, for real, for real.
powerful, powerful. And we just gonna end it like that, yo. This is the only mask you need, yo. Yes, indeed. Hey, so, I didn't see Trump wear a mask yet. I ain't see you wear one yet either. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Y'all stay focused, man, for real, for real. So think black race first, man, and uh, protect yourself That's right. with your mind. And this is another edition of the Think, think Champs. Bang. Black Power.